amigos, espero que estéis bien. Welcome to this video on falsos amigos en español, false friends in Spanish. Now, the good thing about when we are learning Spanish is that we have lots of cognates or near cognates, which are words that are identical in both English and Spanish, or they look really similar so we can guess what they mean. For example, the word animal is the same in English and Spanish. Animal in Espanol, animal in English. They're both spelled exactly the same, so that is a cognate. The word geografía in English means geography. Geografía, geography. So again, you can see the similarities between the two words. You can guess what it means. So that one would be also a near cognate. Sin embargo, we do have some falsos amigos false friends, which are words that look the same in English and Spanish, but in fact they are tricking us, they are our false friends, because they mean something completely different. Ahora vamos a ver diez ejemplos. Now we are going to see ten examples of false friends in Spanish. Uno. So the first word we're going to have a look at is the word libreria. So libreria looks like a word in English. Have a think to see which word you think that looks like. Now I'm guessing that you think that word in English is library, but actually it's not. Libreria means bookshop. So when we see libreria, we assume that it's library, but actually it means bookshop. Dos. The second word we are going to look at is realizar. Take a couple of seconds to think about what that might mean in English. Now I'm guessing that you think realizar means to realise. For example, when you realise something. But actually it doesn't mean to realise, it means to carry out or something to be fulfilled. So it has a completely different meaning in English and in Spanish. Tres. Here we have the word embarazada. Now, you may think that it means embarrassed. It looks a little bit like embarrassed. But in fact, it means something completely different. See if you can have a guess. Now, embarazada doesn't mean embarrassed, like we said. It actually means pregnant. So be very careful when you're using that word. You don't want to say that you're pregnant instead of that you are embarrassed. Cuatro. Now, we see the word colegio a lot when we are learning Spanish in Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4. So colegio looks like a word in English. See what you think it means. So I'm guessing you thought colegio meant college, but actually it doesn't mean college, it means school. Colegio is school, so be careful when you're using that one in your Key Stage 3 or Key Stage 4 work. Cinco. Now we have the word actualmente. So it looks pretty similar to an English word, especially the start of the word. What do you think it means? So I'm guessing that you probably thought it meant actually, but it doesn't mean actually, it means currently. So actualmente means currently, something is currently happening. And a little tip here, when you see the suffix mente at the end of a word in Spanish, in English that suffix is li, L-Y. So actualmente, currently. Says. So the next word we're going to have a look at is the word éxito. It looks very, very similar to an English word. Which one do you think it is? Now I'm guessing you think you just take off the O and it becomes exit, but actually it means something completely different. It has nothing to do with exit. Éxito, in fact, means success. And it always comes up in GCSE Spanish. So be careful with that one because it can easily catch you out. Siete. The next word we are going to have a look at is asignatura. See if you can have a guess what that might mean in English. Now 
Now you probably think the word assignatura means signature in English because it looks very, very similar. But in fact, it means something completely different. Assignatura means school subject. So this is a really important key word for the topic of school, which comes up at Key Stage 3 and at GCSE. So make sure you learn that one when you're talking about school. Ocho. The next word we have is fabrica. Again, very similar to an English word. Which one do you think I'm talking about? I'm guessing that you thought you just take off the A and it is fabric. But in fact, it's got nothing to do with fabric. Fabrica actually means a factory. And again, it's another word that comes up a lot for GCSE in the topic of environment. Nueve. The next word we have is recordar. Again, it looks very similar to an English word. Which one do you think it is? So recordar, I'm guessing you thought meant to record something. But actually, it doesn't mean to record something like a video or a movie. It means to remember something. So recordar means to remember. So be careful with that one when you're translating. Diez. The last word we're going to have a look at is the word simpatico. Again, it looks very similar to a word we have in English. What word do you think that looks like in English? Now, I'm guessing you would have said sympathetic. But actually, it doesn't mean sympathetic. It's a word that we learn in Year 7 and comes up repeatedly until GCSE. Simpatico actually means kind or nice. So be careful when you're translating that one because you can't translate it as sympathetic. Entonces, ahora vamos a ver algunas frases. Now we're going to have a look at some phrases in Spanish. See if you can translate them correctly into English. So the first phrase we had was mi colegio es grande. Now remember we said that colegio means school, not college. So you should have translated this sentence as my school is big. The second sentence was voy a ir a la librería. So three parts here. If you've seen the new future tense, video, then you'll know that we're looking at the future tense because we have three parts. So voy a ir means I am going to go. A la librería. You should have translated it as the bookshop, not the library. So that sentence would be I am going to go to the bookshop. And then the last one. Mi hermano es muy simpático. My brother is very kind or nice. Remember, not sympathetic. Simpatico is kind or nice. Thank you so much for watching this video on falsos amigos in Spanish. Be careful with these words because they can easily catch you out and you can end up saying something that you probably didn't mean to say. And these are just 10 examples. There are many, many more. So if you're interested, let me know and I'll be happy to make a second video on falsos amigos with more examples of words that look like English, but in fact, they mean something completely different. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos and drop a comment below with what you thought of the video and what you would like to learn next. Adios.